Tell me when you're going. We're going. Okay, uh, what you do when you're carbonating water in a, in a pet soda bottle is first you burp it. That means squeeze out the excess oxygen because oxygen is the enemy of food. Uh, if you'll get rid of the oxygen, you'll breathe a little easier, trust me, because uh, you only want CO2 in the bottle. Okay, now do me a favor and take a look at this. We're going to dial this down to about 100 or maybe a little less. Let's get it down to about, uh, say, 50 or so PSI, roughly. Okay, that's where we're going to start at. It's 50 PSI. So, Roy, if you'll hold this bottle for a moment, stabilize it there put these gloves on and we're going to start out at about 50 raise it to um, what uh, 100 then 150 then 200 and it'll probably pop at about 225 psi most uh, beverage products inside of a bottle typically have about 60 psi which is four atmospheres atmospheric pressure is 15 psi and four atmospheres is 60 psi okay Roy so all right we're gonna put uh, right now we're putting uh, how much into the to the bottle? 100. Here you go. Over here. Just at 100. Ready? Yeah. Okay. So we'll bump it up to about 100 now. Okay. Back on the bottle here. Okay. It stops when we've equalized. All right. We're going to bump it up to about 100 and what? Roughly 150 or so. Back on the bottle. Okay. So a little bit more went in. Bump it up to about 175. Okay. Are you getting this? See, it's, it's starting to deform a little bit. Can you see that? Okay, get a little closer on it. Bottle starting to deform. And get the PSI. The bottle will look like this at about whatever PSI that is. Okay, let's go ahead and pop the bottle. Actually, let's bump it to about uh, 200. That should probably not pop the bottle okay 200 bottle still intact okay let's go to about 220 okay we're roughly about 220 okay focus in on the bottle okay you ready there we go here's the top top still in my hands bottle popped that's a fizz giz cap. Check the uh, regulator, please. Okay. Is that the end of the video?